Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show how to update VDisk in the provisioning services environment. So, in order to update VDisk, uh, first what you need to do is you need to log into provisioning services console. Once you log into provisioning services console, under stores you will find your VDisk. So this is the current VDisk which I am using right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and you see an option called versions here. So in order to update VDisk, you need to use the versioning method. So I'm going to click on versions. Okay, now it shows that uh, the current version is two and there is a green check mark right next to it. So if I want to create a new version, what I need to do is I need to click on new. Okay, once you click new, you will see a new version here, which is number three, and it is just created and it is set to maintenance mode. So if you want to just, uh, if you want to cross check whether this uh, version is created or not, you need to go to uh, C drive and you need to, you need to go to the location where you have saved the uh, virtual disk files. So I'm going to just expand this. Okay, if you see here, it says Windows 2K12 new dot 3 dot AVHDX. So this is the new version that we have just created right now. Like a minute ago, we have clicked new. So whenever you click new, it creates a new version here. So around 8:36 a.m. right now it is 8:37. Around 8:36 a.m. it has created a new created a new version which is AVHDX file at 8:36, and it also it also created dot PVP file at 8:36. So it's always good to make sure whenever you click new there uh, on, uh, in versioning it's good to check whether it has created the new version or not in this uh, c drive store okay wherever you have saved the vdisk files you need to go there and check so after doing this after cross checking this uh, we can go back to we can go back to provisioning services console okay so it's it looks good so i'm going to click uh, done here for them for the moment and what I'm going to do is I need to go to device collections and when you click collections, so this is the master target device, uh, which is going to stream this VDIS to make changes. So I'm going to right click on this, click on properties. So right now it is in production. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to maintenance mode because I need to log into the VDIS to make some changes. So I'm going to change this to maintenance and I'm going to click okay all right if you see here it has been uh, changed to maintenance mode now i'm going to log into this master target device to stream the vdis to make changes so i will connect to this master target device so this is the master target device so i'm going to turn on this machine so if you want to make changes you should always connect to the master target device and make any changes like installing applications uninstalling applications updating applications or whatever is your requirement you can do that and after doing that you need to promote that to the uh, production environment so i'm just uh, logging into the uh, master target device So this is going to be a long video, so please bear with me. Okay, now if you see here, it is showing boot menu number two. If you see, it says Windows 2K12 new dot three maintenance. So that is the uh, version that we are trying to connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type number two and hit enter because that is the new version that we have just created and i need to log into that particular uh, vdisk to make changes okay i'm going to hit enter now so it is trying to log into the provisioning services okay it is booting the machine so this is the master target device which I'm trying to log in. Okay, it says master target device.
So once the changes have been done on the master target device, I'm going to stream this uh, VDIS to the target devices in the provisioning services environment. Okay, what I'm going to do is, let me RDP to this machine so that things will be easier. Okay, I'm taking RDP to this machine. Let me log in in a minute. Okay, so I'm connecting to the machine. Okay, it logged in successfully. So I logged into the master target device. So my goal, my goal of this activity is to uninstall this Skype app application. I don't want to give Skype application to the user. So my goal in this activity is to uninstall Skype and update this machine and stream it to the target devices. So yeah, this is Skype. The application is coming up on the screen whenever you log in. Okay, it is going to say, okay, I'm going to minimize this. So a couple of things that you need to check whenever you log into a master target device, you need to make sure whether the device is in maintenance mode or not. Just right click on virtual disk here, click on virtual disk status. And if you see the mode here, if you see the mode here, it is read and write. Only administrators can see the read and write option here. A normal end user who connects to uh, provisioning services, who streams the uh, virtual disk, who, who person who tries to connect to the virtual machine, uh, would not see read and write option. Only administrators would see read and write. Okay, since the since we have kept the devices in maintenance mode, we are seeing read and write, which is good. And also, if you see the virtual disk here, it is streaming the latest one, Windows 2K12, new. 3.avhdx.3 is the version which we have created so it we are booting uh, correctly without any issues so these are some things that you can check before making any changes so as i said before the goal of this activity is to remove skype application for the users so i'm going to update it in the vdisk i'm going to do that in the vdisk so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to search and type appviz.cpl Okay, I'm going to open this. Okay, you see here Skype application has been installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this application. I don't want to give Skype application to the users. I'm going to uninstall this. So it is uninstalling the application. It says the Skype application was successfully successfully removed from your computer. I'm going to click OK. Okay, I'm going to minimize this. And if you see here, the Skype application is gone. Okay, so we have successfully make, made some changes in the master target device. Uh, the image has been, uh, you know, uh, some changes have been done to the image. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, turn off this machine. I'm just going to sign off from this machine because the changes have been done. I'm going to sign off. Okay, I'm going to sign off from the master target device. Now, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to... I'm going back to the PBS console. So this is the PBS console. Now I'm going to the PBS store. And what I'm going to do is uh, I, I will go back to collection. So I will change this from maintenance mode to production, the master target device. We have made the changes just now. I'm going to right click on it, click on properties. Okay, I will make this, I will uh, make it move to production mode from maintenance, okay? I, I'm changing it. I'm going to click OK. All right. If you see here, it's in uh, production mode now. And also, I need to make changes to the VDisk. I need to promote it. Right now, it is in maintenance mode. I'm going to promote this to the production mode. So all you need to do is right-click on the VDisk. And you see an option called versions here. Click on versions. OK, right now, it's uh, we have successfully made changes to this third version we have uninstalled the application so we need to promote this now we need to promote this to the production environment so that the devices can boot and take the latest updates so i have selected this and i'm going to click on promote 
and it gives you two options do you want to test it before you move to the production mode or you want to move it to the production mode right away so it's re in real time environments it is always good to you know move to the test mode once move move to the test mode and test the applications and everything if everything is good then you can move to the production but since this is a lab environment i'm going to change this to production mode and it is asking whether you want to move this to production immediately or you want to schedule it uh, sometime later so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make it immediate so i'm going to click ok okay it gives some error message it says the task cannot be promoted uh, the, the task cannot be performed on active devices shut down the devices before attempting to perform the task okay i'm going to click ok i'm going to click ok seems like some device is still on uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just I'll just uh, go back to the PVS console okay looks like the device is off okay it's in power off state okay let me okay it's in power down state let me power off this machine let me power off okay okay it's powered off right now so let me go back to the PVS console quickly all right so let me try this once again i'm going to right click on this click on versions and i'm going to select the version here and i'm going to promote this to the production mode and see how it goes okay i want to make changes immediately and i'm going to click okay okay it, it throws an error message the task cannot be performed on active devices shut down the devices before attempting to perform the task okay i've just done it i'll click done okay let me uh, yeah I think I have powered powered off the device let me cross check once okay yeah the device is powered off here and also this is also powered off so okay everything looks good uh, let us go back to PVS console maybe it takes some time it takes a while to reflect the changes so I'm going to try it once again right click on it click on uh, versions okay and I'm going to promote this and see how it goes this time production immediate I'm going to click OK okay it gives it it gives a different error message this time it says management interface VDisk has exclusive lock okay I'm going to click OK so it seems like the VDisk is locked right now. If you see here, there is a lock right next to the VDisk. So before making any changes, you have to unlock the VDisk. So just right click on VDisk and you see an option called manage locks here. Click on manage locks. Okay, so both these devices have been checked. So I'm going to remove locks. Okay, I've removed locks. I'm going to click close. All right, the lock has been removed from this VDisk. Now I'm going to right click VDisk again, go to versions. Now let's try to promote and see how it goes okay so the latest version 3 is selected I want to promote this to production environment I'm going to select production and I want to do this immediately and I'm going to click OK and see how it goes this time all right all right perfect now the version has been done the versioning has been created the number 3 number 3 is uh, taking the the number 3 is the latest version right now we see and there is a check mark right next to it it is successful I'm going to click done okay perfect now we have we have logged into the we have logged into the master target device we have uninstalled uh, the Skype application now we have uh, and also we have promoted the virtual disk from maintenance to production and then we have also you know promoted it to production production so what we need to do is we need to uh, log into the target device okay and see whether the changes have been applied successfully or not so what we can do is so this is the target device so I'm going to boot this machine now it is going to stream the virtual disk from the provisioning server where we have uninstalled the Skype application so we, we, we have to see the uh, updated virtual disk here we have to see the updated version which should not have Skype application so once we see that it means that the versioning has been done successfully all right so this is uh, the moment of truth I should say so let's log in and see how it goes it 
So once you update VDisk, once you update VDisk, once you uh, turn on the target devices af after updating the VDisk, if you have like 10 or 20 or 100, all these machines would get the latest virtual disk when they boot up. Okay. So if you see here, the VDisk name is Windows 2K, 2K12 new.3.abhdx dot dot which is good because the, it, it is already taking the new version it is streaming the new version from the provisioning server which is good but we need to just check whether the skype application has been uninstalled or not in a few minutes Okay, so I'm I'm end user now. I'm trying to log in to the uh, uh, machine, and I've already streamed the virtual disk from the provisioning server, and I have to check whether the Skype application is installed or uninstalled. Okay, it is taking a while, so please bear with me. So it's always good to, uh, you know, make a few changes. Like whenever you update VDesk, it is always good to install at least a couple of applications because every time for each and every application, if you create, if you update a new version, if you create a new version, this would consume a lot of space. So whenever you update the VDesk, it's always good to make a few changes. It's not one change. Like if you want to install a couple of applications, then you know you're you're doing a better work. Like you know you are creating, you are installing more applications instead of making minor changes. Okay, so let's log into this machine and see how it goes. So I'm a user. I logged in. I connected to the provisioning server VDesk. I'm trying to log in. Okay. Somehow it is not taking my, okay, let me, give me a second. Yeah, it took some time. Okay, I'm a user now. I've, uh, as a system administrator, I've made changes before. Now I'm logging in as a user. I hit enter. So I have streamed the VDisk version number three successfully. So I'm going to check some things here. I'm going to cancel this. So as an end user, as I said before, I will not get a read and write option. I get only read option here. So if you see the VDisk status here, I'm going to right click on it, click on virtual disk status. If you see here, it is showing only read only option. It is not showing read and write because I'm an end user. An end user would not see read and write. Only administrators would see read and write option. Okay. And the good thing is it is streaming the new virtual disk, Windows 2K12 new.3.avhdx. This is the new VDisk that we have created just now. New version that we have created like a few minutes ago. The target uh, device is booting new v, new VDisk and, 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 it, and it is also in read-only mode. Now, let us check whether the Skype application has been uninstalled or not successfully. So as an end user, I, do, I should not see Skype application. So I'm going to type Skype. Okay, it is not giving anything. So Skype application has been uninstalled successfully. But if you want to go to programs and cross check, you can also do it. So I'm typing app viz dot CPL. Let's go to programs and check whether the Skype application has been uninstalled or not. OK, so I'm going to app viz dot CPL. If you see here, I see Citrix diagnostic facility, all these other things, but I do not see Skype anymore. So as an end user, I don't see Skype anymore. The changes have been done on the VDisk by while creating the new version. We have uninstalled the Skype application as an end user. When I logged into this machine, I don't see Skype application anymore. This means that the versioning has been done successfully. The changes have been made successfully and the VDisk has been booted with the latest changes to the uh, target device successfully. All right. I hope you uh, hope you got my point here. 
and i hope you find this information helpful if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching